Public R&D grants allow governments to pick particular projects to receive funding. In doing so, they give governments a means to influence R&D activities in a field by selecting specific projects to reach policy objectives. These grants are commonly secured through a competitive selection process, relying on peer review panels who have the expertise to judge a project's feasibility and impact. A political approach that circumvents the competitive selection process involves receiving funds earmarked by a U.S. member of Congress. It is often assumed that earmarked R&D projects are likely to be of inferior quality compared to competitively selected projects, owing to bias and influence by factors not related to merit. Scholars argue that competitive selection is less biased and susceptible to influence, but evidence supporting this claim is lacking. Now, in a new study, researchers examined the outcomes of 321 R&D projects that were selected via both competitive and political processes for funding by the U.S. Department of Energy's hydrogen program between 2003 and 2011. They analyzed the peer review evaluation scores and data on tangible scientific and research outputs, such as patents and publications, to compare the productivity, spillover effects, and novelty of the projects. The researchers found that peer reviewers consistently gave lower evaluation scores to earmarked projects than to non-earmarked projects, which was attributed to a cognitive bias. Moreover, the data did not suggest that politically selected projects consistently underperform compared to competitively selected ones in terms of research and scientific output. These findings challenge the widespread assumption that many scholars and policymakers hold about political or competitive selection processes and their outcomes. Therefore, it is important to actively consider a broader set of selection mechanisms, such as earmarks, when discussing how to effectively allocate scarce public funding through R&D grants.